Did you know that an astonishing 800 million jobs could be lost to AI by the 2030s? When we think of AI job displacement, it's mostly about blue-collar, manual labor jobs, but AI is set to come after some of the most sought-after white-collar jobs, too. This begs the question, which jobs? For the answer, let us jump into the top 10 most surprising industries that AI will kill off first. Stay till the end, because the last five will blow your mind. Number 10. Lawyers. AI is gaining headway in the legal field and has the potential to take over many elements of the legal profession. It has progressed to the point where it can interpret massive volumes of data rapidly and accurately. This makes AI especially suitable for jobs like legal research, which requires examining a large number of legal papers and precedents. One angle can be that these tools are assisting lawyers in more effectively reviewing and identifying concerns. These tools can uncover irregularities, non-compliance, and potential issues, making the screening process more efficient and speedier. Not only that, AI can help with due diligence in sectors like mergers and acquisitions by extracting crucial information from massive amounts of data. As an entity that excels at predicting legal outcomes through the analysis of previous cases and legal data, it can also help lawyers establish better tactics and advise clients on potential risks and possibilities of success by providing insights into the probable outcomes of existing cases. If AI is capable of so much, why should anybody require the services of a lawyer, especially given how well paid they are? Considering cost reduction of legal services opportunities, there might be a group of people already working on something like Lawyer GPT. Even at this stage, by bits and pieces, AI can do almost everything that a lawyer does. What it lacks is to come up with an amalgam of all the services. But one thing is for sure, as LLMs become more responsive, an AI chatbot might become as capable as a professional lawyer. Number nine, art. Art is an inherently human expression. And to be honest, no virtual entity should possess the authority to replicate it. However, as ordinary individuals without the power to change this, we can only observe these developments with a heavy heart. AI is often viewed as a catalyst for enhancing creativity in art. It possesses the capability to produce artistic forms that surpass the human capabilities, offering a wealth of fresh ideas and templates that can serve as inspiration for specific projects or broader artistic endeavors. Yes, it can create art. However, it lacks the capacity to grasp the underlying reasoning or narrative behind its own creations. The concept of art generated by machines or software has long been recognized as digital art. One early example dates back to the 1980s when a digital artist named Harold Cohen developed a painting program called Aaron. This program enabled the machine to produce drawings on paper, marking a significant milestone in machine-generated art. In the 1990s, the introduction of software programs like Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop propelled digital art to new heights. These programs incorporated machine learning and AI, known as Adobe Sensei, as essential components of their programming language. But even if the art was digital, it was still created by humans. In the foreseeable future, the notion of creative originality will become increasingly elusive because tools like Stable Diffusion and Midjourney are already changing the game. Do you think that the displacement of art out of the human realm and into the technological realm is worth it? Let me know in the comments section below. Number 8. Music. AI can now create new melodies or rhythms by learning from a large number of other songs. The fact that, for instance, you want a song in Drake's voice but you don't have the means to pay him, you can use AI and make these developments truly dark. The unsolicited replication is putting the jobs and originality labels of many musicians at stake. Number seven, administrative roles. According to a recent Goldman Sachs study, it's been suggested that AI has the potential to supplant approximately 66% of the jobs in both the United States and the European Union. This observation isn't unexpected given the prevalent automation trends in these regions. We've We've already discussed the legal ones, now let us see how AI will displace administrative roles. Let's start with the more elementary responsibilities of this job, something as simple as email and calendar management. AI-driven virtual assistants excel at managing emails, scheduling appointments, and setting reminders. They can even respond to routine emails, thus alleviating the administrative workload. When it comes to document management, AI's ability to categorize, organize, and search through extensive document repositories 
Series streamlines document retrieval and management, which eliminates the need for manual effort. Financial administrative tasks, including expense management, can also be automated using AI systems that aid in tracking, approvals, and reimbursements, resulting in streamlined processes. Finally, HR and recruitment. AI takes on tasks such as resume screening, initial candidate interviews, and even predicting employee turnover, which can help shrink the size of HR teams by two-thirds. Number six, the finance sector. Some jobs in the finance sector, particularly those involving extensive data manipulation, could face potential threats. This implies that numerous high-earning finance professionals might find themselves replaced by automated chatbots. As of now, individuals concerned about the security of their financial positions should take note of the fact that ChatGPT operates as a black box. In other words, the inner workings that lead to its generation of investment recommendations are often not easily understandable by humans. According to a report, which may serve as another ray of hope for finance people, is that the lack of transparency in how the chatbot formulates its responses will pose challenges in meeting certain regulatory requirements. Number five, teachers. AI is making a significant impact on the teaching profession with its ability to instruct in various subjects although it may occasionally produce inaccuracies. Yes, AI is useful, but in a very unhealthy manner, it eases the burdens of students, saving them from early morning wake-ups and homework. Traditional education has many issues, but still, it offers more than just knowledge acquisition, including communication skills, idea sharing, problem solving, and social navigation. There are also the elements a chatbot can't replace. The darker side of AI's influence on education is the rise of cheating techniques. Traditional methods have evolved as students now rely on ChatGPT to generate scripts and answers, presenting a new challenge for educators. An example from Hickory, North Carolina reveals how students resorted to the chatbot to craft their analytical essays. The professor detected AI-generated content due to its unnatural polish and structure. Similar instances of AI-assisted cheating have been reported globally, posing a serious challenge for institutions. The growing moral dilemma surrounding this issue raises questions about about responsibility. While virtual teachers may become a reality, many educators believe that human interaction remains crucial for effective teaching. But is the profession actually evolving instead of dying? This is a question that only time can answer. Number four, physical design engineers. Generative AI has the potential to streamline the computer-aided design process. It assists in the creative process by generating AI-conceivable solutions to a problem based on specific parameters, even when the design represents a groundbreaking departure from existing conventions. It won't take long before these tools exceed the desired level of smartness. They will almost usurp over every mechanical design job, and people at lower wages as compared to professional mechanical engineers might be employed to get the task done by just prompting these tools. Number three, pilots. No industry prioritizes automation more than aviation when it comes to white collar jobs and robots. Aviation has gone a long way since Lindenberg stayed at the controls of a plane for 33 and a half hours. With so many unrewarding and monotonous activities in the cockpit, automation has simplified pilots' jobs. The recent development of a robot called the Aircrew Labor In-Cockpit Automation System, or ALIAS, that can accomplish nearly everything a human pilot can do in the cockpit, supports the argument that robots may soon replace pilots. As recently as 2021, the DARPA Aircrew Labor In-Cockpit Automation System program conducted the first unmanned flight of a UH-60A Blackhawk helicopter. We all know how many lives have perished due to small mishandlings or errors from the pilots, and automating this job will surely result in a better passenger safety. This has not been achieved as of now, but we might not be far away from the time when this dream comes true. Number two, media jobs. Christian Hammond, the chief scientist of natural sciences, predicts that within 15 years, machines will write 90% of the news. A German publisher, Axel Springer, has also announced plans to shift to a digital-only approach, which means job cuts in favor of using modern technology and automation. Reporters from various organizations, such as Business Insider, CNET, and CNBC, have employed ChatGPT to write news stories. However, they have faced criticism for producing articles with incorrect information. In January, BuzzFeed CEO Jonah Peretti shared that the company would be using ChatGPT to personalize content and improve quizzes, which didn't sit well with some employees, as reported by the Wall Street Journal. Even in the field
field of marketing, a significant 84% of marketers used AI in 2020, a substantial increase from the 29% reported in 2019, according to the research by Salesforce. High-performing marketing teams were found to use AI and machine learning for about seven different purposes in 2020, with more than half of them planning to increase their use in 2021. Although these reports suggest that these people have the largest buffer period before going jobless, but the threat is surely looming over their heads. Number one, coders. Now, this is truly disturbing, which is why it's at the top of our list. This new tool called ChatGPT Engineer is making waves in the market as it has the capacity to write code, develop applications, and design websites, provided the user has some coding knowledge. While this tool offers significant advantages in terms of efficiency and expediting the software development process, it raises some concerns about the impact on traditional job markets, particularly in the field of software development. In the short term, software developers can benefit from using AI tools to streamline tasks such as writing boilerplate code and generating parts of applications. This is expected to improve overall work quality and efficiency, but there's growing apprehension, especially among those studying computer science, that as AI tools become more widespread, demand for traditional hiring practices in the job market may diminish, affecting both junior and senior developers. Junior developers may be the first to feel the impact of AI integration as AI systems could replace entry-level positions, potentially leaving fresh graduates without the practical experience needed to thrive in their field. This rapid change in the industry could lead to uncertainty and financial challenges for senior positions as well, making it imperative for developers to adapt to this new, evolving landscape in a matter of months or years, rather than decades. Subscribe to AI Symbiosis for more blues from the world of AI. What stages will AI need to evolve through before controlling humans? To find out, click on the video link popping up.